Hello, my name is Rusty Belcher, and I'll be going over this Imaginate Technologies tech tip with you today. In this tech tip, we're going to focus on the process of adding three-dimensional geometry to a curved face. I have a customer request specifically for this, and I'm going to go through this process with you. My customer needs to add text to a face for an etching process that they use on their CNC machine. And they, in this particular case, they don't want to use regular text. They want to use the line geometry in place of the text. So I'm going to take you through the process of doing that in this tech tip. Now this process actually begins in my AutoCAD application. I'm going to use AutoCAD to convert regular text into simple line geometry. There is an express tool that does this for me and you need to make sure that your express tools are loaded on your AutoCAD if you want to duplicate this process. I'm going to start the regular multi-line text command and I'm going to enter my text and I want to change the font to something that uses single lines and for this example I'm going to use the simplex font so here is my text we'll just drag this over here and put it right in the middle now there is an express tool for text called explode you simply start that command select your text and it converts it to geometry now for this example I'm going to change the properties of this text it changes the color here and I'm going to change it back to by layer. You don't have to do that, but I would recommend it. So now that I have geometry that mimics the text I want to use, I'm going to highlight all of that and right click under clipboard. I'm going to select copy. Now that I have my geometry copied, I've hopped over into my inventor application and I have a simple cylinder I'm going to use to demonstrate this process. Now the first thing we need to do is add a work plane so that we can add a two-dimensional sketch. I'm going to use my work plane command. I'm going to select the curved face and then in the origin folder I'm going to select in this case the XZ plane. I'll then use the 2D sketch and select that plane to begin my sketch. And at this point, I simply right click in the background and select paste. I'll go ahead and place the text roughly in the middle of the cylinder. Uh, again, I called it text, but in this case it is geometry. Now at this point I'm going to finish the sketch and I want to create a three-dimensional sketch. The three-dimensional sketch is what we're going to use to project the 2D geometry onto the curved face. So underneath of the Create 2D Sketch, you'll find Create 3D Sketch. And we're going to use this command, Project to Surface. I'll start the command, and you're prompted to select a face. I'll pick the curved face, and then I'm going to manually toggle to select the curves. And in this case, I'm just going to make a selection window and select all of the geometry. Now you have three projection methods. In this example, we want to use the Wrap to Surface method. I'll click OK and you'll see that two-dimensional geometry projected to the curved surface, which is exactly what we wanted. Now I'm going to finish my three-dimensional sketch and just to clean this up I'm going to come over into the browser and I'm going to turn off the visibility of the two-dimensional sketch as well as the work plane. Now you can modify the properties of your three-dimensional sketch. It, it uses the associative color by default, but if you want to, you can right-click on the 3D sketch, go to properties, and modify the color. And for this example, I am going to do that and just leave it black. So there you see our two-dimensional geometry, which is representative of text, projected to the curved surface as a 3D sketch. Now the customers I was working with wanted to make sure that this three-dimensional text would show up on the curved surface in the drawing. So I want to carry this process all the way through the drawing. I'm going to start a new drawing and I'm going to create a base view of our part. I'm just going to use the current orientation and a scale factor of 2. 
Now, if you want to see the 3D sketch on your drawing view, you have to go to the browser and expand the view, right click on the part, and select Get Model Sketches. Then you can right click on the 3D sketch model right here and select Include. Now, by default, 3D sketches come in using the chain line type. And if you want to modify that, you can go to the annotation panel and select edit layers. This is going to take you to the style editor and you can select the line type chain for 3D sketch geometry here and modify it to continuous. You'll click done, you have to save those changes and if you pan a little bit, you'll see the line type update to suit. And just to finish off, I'm going to edit my view. I'll turn off my hidden lines, turn on shading, and here you can see the drawing with the cylinder along with the three-dimensional geometry that represents our text on the curved surface. So this is going to conclude our demonstration on projecting two-dimensional geometry to a 3D curved surface. I hope you found this tech tip informative. If you'd like to view more tech tips, please look for them at imagineit.com.